Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. In today's video, we're going to compare three similar types of isopods and highlight the differences between the three types. Uh, just to be clear here, we have two different species, and within one of those species, we have two different localities. So here, we have Armadillidium klugiai Montenegro. Here, we have Armadillidium klugiai Dubrovnik. And here is a different species, Armadillidium werneri. So the easiest way to tell Werneri apart from Klugiai is that Klugiai has three lines of spots on the dorsal surface. One right down the middle, one on the right side near the skirt, and one on the left side near the skirt. If you look closely at Armadillidium Werneri here, you can see that they have five lines of spots across their back. That is the easiest way to tell them apart. They are also a little bit larger, and there are some other minor differences as well, but the easiest way is to look for those five lines of spots. If you see those, you know you have Warneri. Now let's compare Montenegro with Dubrovnik. Now unfortunately, there are probably some mixed strains in the hobby, and so there may be people who just were sold Armadillidium klugai without a locality or as clowns, um, without even a scientific name, and they got mixed. But if you have a pure stock that has not been mixed, one thing you can see is that um, Armadillidium klugai Montenegro sometimes have yellow spots. You can see on some of these specimens they have some yellow spots as well as white spots. That seems to be either rare or non-existent in the pure Dubrovnik strain. On the other hand, in the Dubrovnik strain, something that's common I don't think this is universal, but it's very common and happened to show up in all of the individuals here. There are three ones buried itself now, but you can see that along the division of each segment of the body, there's a red uh, line that goes across. And this is common in the Dubrovnik strains. In some particular individuals and in some strains, there's a strain known as the uh, high red that basically um, does not have any gray or black. Um, it's just all red with white spots, which is pretty cool. But these individuals and the strain in general has a high incidence of those red uh, lines going across the body, which I have not seen in Montenegro at all. And then there's one more I want to show you. This is kind of a bonus. This is a strain of clowns um, descended from Montenegro, I believe. This is the orange, so Armadillidium klugai, probably Montenegro, but orange. As you can see they have the white spots, they have the yellow spots as well, but they have lost the red and have lost the uh, dark gray or black, and are just an orange. And I think they're a rather gorgeous strain as well. There are other strains out there. There's the pudding strain, which has lost most or all of the red retains the spots and retains the uh, dark gray or black, which has actually kind of faded to sort of a purple in some of them. And so there's the purple pudding strain, which I do not currently have, but uh, these orange clowns are pretty awesome. Here is a fun fact for you. All three of these isopods are thought to mimic a venomous spider. They're Batesian mimics of Latrodectus mactans tradesim gutatus, which is in the genus of widows, like the familiar black widow. These isopods are not capable of causing harm themselves, but as Batesian mimics, they simply appear uh, similar enough to the uh, model species so that potential predators are warned away. So thanks for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed this comparison of different types of Armadillidium species. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.